Human beings are not dominated by material things, but by ideas for which they are willing to give their lives or their life's work. The immortal words of Winston Churchill, World War II Prime Minister of Great Britain. Churchill spoke those words over 60 years ago while making remarks about the help given by the Commonwealth to beat the common foe, Adolf Hitler and his killer machine in Germany. Those words still reverberate in the minds of today's people who see their entire humanity as their constituency. Such people dot the Nigerian landscape and have been registering themselves in the hearts of the masses through their noble deeds and goodwill. In all societies, the goodwill, the philanthropy and selflessness of a few humane individuals privileged to be saddled with the job of presiding over lives and livelihood of all the masses have made the great difference in human history. Ikemba Athan Naji Achonu is endeared to many on account of his philanthropy, selfless service, and devotion to the upliftment of the quality of life for the ordinary folks. He is meek and gentle, but with the heart of a lion in matters concerning human advancement. Ikemba Athan Naji Achonu, facilitator of the Project Nigeria, a non-governmental organization, NGO, is fondly called one Arm General by his friends and admirers. This is a sobriquet that was given to Chief Athan on account of his tough mien, especially on national issues as they affect the mass of the people. The youths are my focus. Project Nigeria is about tomorrow. It's about the youths of this country. The creation of employment is about the youths of this country. Even the housing is the youths. Okay, if you are a driver in a ministry, you own a house, and you over 50, you retire. When you now retire, your son can have a house to use as collateral to start plumbing business, welding business, something. Do you understand? So, and then if we use the crude oil that we have to create massive industrialization. Do you understand me? It is the youth that will get these uh, jobs. Do you understand? So this is about tomorrow. This is about the youth of this country. That's what I'm about. Like Woodrow Wilson, the early 20th century United States president, Ikemba Athan believes that interests separate both people and nations and that only a common devotion to what is right can bind people. There are resources that come from government to do most of the things I do for my community, for my friends, and for people who are in need. And those things are being diverted. And I have been talking and talking and talking about all this for a very long time that my truth is cracking. They don't take me serious, they don't take action because they think I am not an insider. Once you are not an elected official, an appointed official of federal government or state government, they look at you as an outsider, as if that place belongs to them. Meanwhile, these are people who are elected or appointed to serve the needs of the people of Nigeria. Ikemba Athan Achonu is also confident that with the support given so far by President Goodluck Jonathan, the primary health care program being sponsored by the Association of Local Governments of Nigeria, Algon, remains the major dividend of democracy to the ordinary folks and should be encouraged and sustained. President Goodluck Jonathan is one of the biggest supporters of the 774 Health Center program in Nigeria and backed upon by Algon with the support of the federal government. So, and then one day, there are a few governors who have supported this. Jonathan, as far as I'm concerned, has done very well. He has improved the power situation. Agriculture, Nigeria, what we have in agriculture, that minister is a wonderful minister. He's one of the best ministers in this government, the minister for agriculture. I don't know him personally, but I can see his handwork. Do you understand me? So, in the transport ministry, the railways, we are doing very well. This country has to move forward. And I decided to join the People's Democratic Party because it is the only party that is not owned by anybody. You see, where is Obasanjo now? Obasanjo, is he running the show here? But in uh, APC, you have Buhari on one side, who is controlling all these people from the CPC. You have Bola Tinubu, who is controlling all the people from AAACN. So those, those are not democratic institutions. 
In fact, I don't know what I, th I think it doesn't belong there. So I decided that PDP is a party. It's only the president is always the leader of that party at any point in time. When he leaves, he has left. So if you now struggle, if we have internal democracy within all the political parties, this country will move forward. That is where it will start from. The African rights activist encourages politicians in the country to emulate the leadership style of President Goodluck Jonathan, whom he says believes in and is so much committed to the rule of law and consultations to solve nagging national problems. I want to also tell all the governors, now that most of them are leaving office, this is the time to make sure that there is financial autonomy for local governments, financial autonomy for state legislatures, and the senators and the members of the House of Reps should make sure it is achieved so that the governors who start controlling the party machinery in the state, what they do is because they control the finances of the state assemblies and the local governments, they now control the votes, their votes as delegates to state conventions and national conventions, thereby appointing officers from what level to state level, thereby determining who will go to the Senate and who will go to the House, who will go to the uh, Federal House, who will become chairman. When these governors leave tomorrow, they will all will want to run to the Senate. That governor will stop them. The next governor will stop them. Unless these powers are curtailed. So that there is true democracy. Because if you want to be a governor, you need two senators. It's, the politics is about majority, isn't it? So in a state where you have three uh, senatorial uh, zones, for you to win, you must have two senatorial zones. So you, then there is horse trading. Do you understand? Yeah, so, give and take. The one-armed general who is hoping to represent his people at the National Assembly as a senator in 2015 appeals for a level playing ground for all political aspirants so as to promote peace and stability in the polity. The Senate is about making laws and exercising oversight functions to make sure that those things in the budget, the government does them according to the budget and that those laws are obeyed by government. Do you understand? Making laws to give impetus to people who want to bring in development. That is the job of a senator. Do you understand? So these things I'm going to do. And then also I'm going to try, like I said earlier, to make sure that things like the subsidy, all those things don't exist anymore, that there is housing for almost every Nigerian. Because you can't just achieve it overnight. But over a long time, six, eight year period, to make sure, we have a 17 million housing deficit in Nigeria, according to the World Bank report. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And to make sure that oil communities, they have suffered so much degradation, it's unbelievable. These are the people who feed the entire country. They are treated with ignominy. Their waters are polluted, their land they can't even farm. All these things, we need to stop them. The African rights activist says he is often very sad to hear elected political office holders in the country refer to people like him as outsiders who should never dare to scrutinize how public funds are either disbursed or spent. I think that I have to be on the inside in order to be more effective. That is why I decided to run for the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the umbrella of the People's Democratic Party. To the contrary, Ikemba Athanachonu is a born leader of people who in his quest to improve the human conditions has dedicated his entire resources, time and his very life to the defense of humanity and the common good. To many of his admirers, therefore, and especially the people of his Okigwe senatorial districts in Imo State, Southeast Nigeria, Ikimba Athan Achonu ought to be given an opportunity to serve in a high position where he has representative powers to influence decisions on the people's behalf. Could such covert persuasions and subtle pressures be the reasons why the one-armed general is venturing into the nation's murky political waters? I have been talking about the industrialization of this country. This is one of the richest countries on the face of the planet. We have crude oil. We don't have to import petroleum products. That is number one. 
Do you know the amount of money that is spent on subsidy every year? These monies can go into massive infrastructural development and turn this country around, can create industries, create such employment that is unbelievable. Why are we where we are since Olu Iberi? So these are the things, these are the questions, these are the things I have to try to bring a lot of people, think tanks, to provide answers for. Secondly, with the wealth Nigeria has, every worker in Nigeria should have a home. And every worker having a home will create massive employment. And then will create a stock of collateral that can generate more employment, more business. The multiplier effect is unbelievable. So these are issues that give me sleepless nights. And then if I, can, if I don't say them, maybe, I don't know, I will explode. Ikemba Achonu says his project Nigeria is all about the youth. He insists that as a vital national resource, every effort must be made to give the youth a sense of relevance and belonging in the scheme of things in the society. I am going to mobilize the youths of this country. Yes, my constituency and, my, and the entire country under Project Nigeria. Now, I am going to leave Project Nigeria for other people to run since I'm going to the Senate so I can concentrate and help my, uh, federal, I mean, my senatorial zone and also contribute my uh, quota to national development. But before we do that, we are going to mobilize the youths of this country, both north, south, to make sure that we enthrone a president who will bring in development and support through democracy. And that is President Goodluck Jonathan. No society is hopeless as long as it has a vibrant and flourishing press. Chief Athen, however, therefore, wants the Nigerian press to do more in mobilizing the people, particularly the youth, towards national rebirth. The press, they are the greatest albatross. The press, you people, are the problem of Nigeria. America was one of the worst countries in the face of the planet. Mafia was even installing presidents. But the press stood up and fought. It was the press that saved America. It was the press that saved Italy. Do you understand? The Mafia and the Christian Democratic Party ran Italy for 40 years. Press fought. They, because anything you expose in the press, police can't cover it. Do you understand me? Anything you express, the law, judges can't cover it. Press, you people are the hope of this country. If you don't save us, we're in trouble. Chivathan Achonu's philosophy of life has always been to give back to the society, and this he has been doing with great passion. Ikemba Athan Naji Achonu, the one armed general, hopes, if given a platform to represent the people of Okigwe Senatorial District of an elective public office, he will do more to advance the lot of humanity, especially the ordinary folks.